going on everybody? My name is Tyler Campbell and this is TLC Automotive. But today what we're going to be talking about on this channel today is uh, a run through on what we're going to be doing to my 1991 Chevy C1500 regular cab. It's got the original 5.7 350 small block in it backed up by a 700 R4 transmission. The truck's not perfect in no means, nor is does it run right. Um, the truck's 31 years old, so it's got your typical rust, dings, and all around, it just needs work. Okay, basically what we're gonna be talking about is uh, the essentials that need to be done to the truck and some things that we already have for the truck. Um, starting off, the truck needs brand new cab mounts, or some people call them body mounts. Uh, all six of those need to be replaced because I just went from a step side short bed to a fleet side short bed and my cab is kind of sitting at an angle as to where my new bed is sitting completely flush and true. That being said, that needs to be done and then um, we can dive into the rest of the truck. Uh, foremost, the truck needs cab corners and rockers. I had ordered those from LMC Truck and they showed up about four weeks ago, so about a month, and along with some other goodies that we had bought over time. I've been stockpiling parts for about seven months now, and I'm kind of late to the whole YouTube thing, so this is me doing it now. We got molded carpet from LMC. Uh, the colorway for the truck's gonna go original Chevy red, and the interior is gonna go um, leather brown and black all the way around. I bought two bucket seats for the truck. It's got the original um, bench sheet in it, so we'll be covering how to do a uh, bench seat to bucket seat swap for this truck later on in the series of rebuilding this truck. Um, another thing is I have a whole new front end for the truck. I have grills, um, I have bumpers, suspension, and hood for the truck. Uh, the truck is currently not all one color. I've been doing body work here and there to it. I am a painter slash helper here at the Service King in Norman, Oklahoma, and I work under my head lead painter, Cliff States. We will be covering more of that guy later in the future. Awesome guy. I will drop the link to his YouTube in the bio below. But anyways, back to the truck. Um, got loads of parts for it already. Uh, kind of late to the party. We got to get a rundown on what needs to be done, what's already done, et cetera, et cetera. So what's been done to the truck is very, very little actually. It's got long tube headers, equal length on both sides, and it's got a very, very mild RV cam done to it and a uh, aftermarket breather, and that's literally it. Um, cosmetics, as far as under the hood, I've painted the valve covers, which I'm gonna completely strip down and do again because I was doing it the cheap way and not the right way. Another thing um, is that we have to get those rockers and cab corners welded on. That'll be another video in itself because after we get that done, the truck can get primered and it can get painted. Um, the truck is in rough shape, guys. It's not perfect by no means, nor does it run great. Uh, it gets me 2.8 point B and it is currently my daily driver so I can understand most guys are looking to um, watch a project video well this is a project but it's also my daily driver until I can get my other vehicle fixed that being said um, I think we can go downstairs take a look at the truck and give you guys a rundown on um, just the condition of the truck itself so let's go take a look at that so here she is all her glory rough right now but like I said it's 31 years old whoever owned it before me obviously didn't take care of it so now it's my job to uh, restore this truck to as close to original as I can with a little bit of extras I got some stuff in my hand for recording so I went ahead and stripped out the uh, the carpet in the inside the dash was already gone when I bought the truck this would be the bench sheet that we're taking out of it. Um, the headliner is in immaculate condition. Um, let's see, the window would be perfect if there wouldn't be that chip right there and then that little crack down there on the bottom. This is my brand new fleet side bed that I just put on. Uh, whoever owned it originally, 
truck didn't look like it hardly got worked. You can just tell by the inside of the bed, there's hardly any dings. There's scratches, of course, but um, <clears throat> yeah, here it is. Don't mind the ugly tailgate. They had to do because I had those seats in the bag. But I will eventually. Oh, board just shut. I will eventually have this whole thing primered and one color, hopefully by uh, summertime, which for you guys should be in about six months or by the end of the year. She looks rough. She's a good truck. Alright guys, we're inside the truck now. Um, we're actually going to go see my buddy Cliff at his house. We're going to help him out on some uh, projects he's got going on at his house. Um, <clears throat> so you guys will be able to meet him. Like I said, he's got a really awesome YouTube channel. He's just now starting out as well, but he's got a pretty good foundation starting off. Um, so yeah, let's get over there, see what's going on, and we will uh, get back to you guys as soon as we pull up. So I had to stop and grab some gas. These trucks don't get the best fuel mileage, as most of you guys know. Um, we'll probably stop and grab some lunch somewhere. Uh, I am off today, it is Saturday. So uh, I woke up, intended to make this video, got started on it, and I didn't eat breakfast, so we're gonna try to find something to eat. Or we might just hit Cliff up to see if he wants to grab some lunch. I know he's got some plans. Uh, that he's doing this morning, but we will see if we can possibly get a uh, feature with Mr. Cliff himself. So I will let you guys know. Well, Mr. Uh, Cliff cannot make it to lunch today, so we're eating Taco Bell in a gas station parking lot. Right off the good old 240. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Food's good. Cheers. Approximately 10 hours later. So, what's going on YouTube? Um, it's currently the next day. I didn't get to film a proper outro. We got kind of busy working on the cut list. Um, so, this is my outro. Real quick, I kind of want to give a rundown on the summary of this YouTube channel. Um, it's not just for the purposes of me building my truck. It's also so we can learn things together. Like I said in a previous clip of this video, I'm not a professional, nor do I claim to know everything. Um, so this is just literally in the grace of wanting to share my love and what knowledge I do have about this in particular vehicle with you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was super boring. I promise they're not all going to be like this. Um, hopefully they're never going to be like this again past this. Uh, so yeah, um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate uh, you guys even just coming to check out what it's all about. And I promise I'm going to try to get at least one video uploaded a week. That's a lot considering I'm working a full-time job, uh, nine to five pretty much. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks again guys. I appreciate you comment like and subscribe uh, Click the bell below and um, also check out uh, Deuce Too Outrageous as well. So thanks again guys. I appreciate you. Have a good day